Okay, women and girls, women, girls, and sports. Um, the Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women, which is a convention in 1979, has a specific provision on women in sports and girls. So it's in particular the right to participate in recreation and activities and sports, okay? And also we have the Magna Carta for Women in 2009, which provides for the participation of women and girl children in competitive and non-competitive sports. For what purpose? As a means to achieve excellence. Okay, promote physical and social well-being, eliminate gender stereotyping, and girls and sports, the realities. Okay, it has been shown that opportunities for girls to participate in sports for development programs has have not been as popular as that for girls because um, opportunities are dominated by boys vis-a-vis -vis girls. Is that right, Roy? Yeah. Okay. Then I need you again to, and I'm so sorry about this. Okay, the realities. But uh, we know that sports um, is an integral part of any nation's culture, yes? Okay, however, it's used to promote gender equality, equity and empowerment is not recognized because sport is perceived as not particularly suitable or desirable for girls and women. Why? Okay, because of social constructions of masculinity and femininity. This is actually what gender is, no? Um, there are notions that women are weak, passive, subservient, um, which um, has played a role in determining not just access, but also levels of participation of girls in sports. Okay, so it is true that girls and women are less likely than boys to participate in sports. However, it is a mistake to assume that because this is the case, girls do not want to participate in sports. Ayan, ganda ba yung pictures? Diyan na ba kayo? Wala pa? Okay. Okay, why? What, what inhibits girls' participation in sports? Okay, one is poverty, particularly when they are expected to augment household, family income, and domestic demands because as girls, are expect, they're expected to help out more than their brothers you know, with, with um, their reproductive duties at home. There are also safety concerns, lack of access to transportation facilities, and few opportunities for skills development. Okay, but we know that, and this is according to the UN Deputy Director, Nawala, sport has a huge potential to empower women and girls. Okay, hindi ka makaka goal coach. Sino nagsabi niyan? Si Thea. Okay, because Coach Roy came to the center one day with new futsal balls. And I don't know why it was such an exciting thing for them, because for me it was just balls. But they did a pickup pick up game um, at the back of the center. And so Thea said that. Hindi ka makaka goal coach. She's 13. She's a member of the U15 team that went to is it Myanmar? Allows. Okay. So, I mean, come on, I mean, who, would, who could say that, yeah? What street child can tell this really wonderful player, I'm assuming, hindi ka makaka goal coach, di ba? Yeah. Ito to, hindi ka naka goal, di ba? Oh, see? Oh, yan yung katrop. So, those are my girls. I love them so much. That's the reason why I go there every Saturday. We have a lot of fun, di ba? At saka may iyakan din, may tawanan, kainan. Ayan. And I do a lot of ano, really boring training. <laughs> I do gender sensitivity training. Like soji training na kami, attorney. Okay. So, what I, Roy, this is so important. This actually is my message for you. Eh. Um, the work that you do in Fair Play, I'd like to see as um, a sport plus approach. In other words, it's not just about playing football. No, I like to see that um, what your intention is, is to integrate sport with other development programs, which you're already doing. So one of which is the education program wherein the girls are provided with financial assistance for, edu for education. And then also bringing me in because of Al with, with our mentoring sessions. And I also bring other people in 
to do things. Like we did a street dance and an art workshop and a placard making workshop for the Pride March that we eventually joined. So that's, that all form par forms part of a larger um, program no? of assistance. So it's Sport Plus. Okay? Okay, how are the girls empowered through sports? Girls can significantly benefit from the economic, not just economic, but also emotional and physical self-determination that an intentionally crafted sports program can offer. So it can be an accelerator to actualizing her full potential. This is from our art workshop. That's Rosemary over there. She wants to work in a cruise ship. Okay. This were, these were the placards we made for the Pride March. Nag join ba kayo doon sa Marikina? So, attorney ba? Bata hindi. O, oh, kasi nag, gumawa kami ng mga placards. It was an activity. So, in many countries, it has been shown that sports can be a venue to amplify women's voices and tear down gender barriers and discrimination. Okay, how are they empowered? It, enhances their health and well-being. I think this is obvious. We don't really need to elaborate on this. So it, so it benefits their physical and mental... I, oy, it benefits their physical and mental health, and then it reduces their risk for chronic diseases, um, depression. Di naman kayo nade-depress, di ba? Hindi. Anxiety. Sa schoolwork. And engaging in health risk behaviors, like drugs, rugby. Wala nagra-rugby sa inyo, di ba, Katrops? Wala naman, di ba? <laughs> and it's also, it can also be an education platform for health, especially if you have a vegetarian coach like Roy. You're vegetarian still, yeah? Okay. And it can also foster self esteem and empowerment. This is Dudes. Where's Dudes? Dudes is there. She's going to speak later. This, was, this is Dudes in Brazil in 2000, minus 4, 2014. Okay. So, um, sports provide opportunities to learn new skills, engage in positive relationships, acquire achievements, and gain recognition for their, for their achievements. Okay, it also facilitates social inclusion and integration. So, sports programs or in integrated sports programs also allow um, the girls to have safe places to gather, help them build social networks, offer social support and connect them to so many information, platforms, services, and opportunities that can help them address their marginalization in society. Okay, it can also challenge gender norms. I think this is very important. Why? Because they defy the stereotype of girls as weak. Because when each time, each time any of you kicks a ball, you demonstrate not only physical strength, but also leadership, strategic thinking. And by doing that, you make a step towards gender equality. That's the way it's romanticized. <laughs> so pag sumisipa kayo, ibig sabihin na sumusulong, sinusulong natin ang pagkakapantay-pantay ng kababaihan at kalalakihan. It also provides opportunities for leadership and achievement if they're provided opportunities to participate in decision-making, in program planning, in coaching, who are the coaches here? Dudes. Ayan. Melanie. See? They're already coaching. It empowers them and equips them to take better control over their lives. Okay. Very quick. I'm almost finished. The aforementioned can be framed more clearly in terms of what I saw um, in the research. It's, it's called the three A's. It's the three A's theory of change. Okay. So through a well-designed sports program, a girl can access these three aspects. Ax can gain assets, access, and agency. I'll make it on time, Nikki. Promise. Okay, it builds assets. And these assets are namely social, human, and sports skills. So, okay, social networks, Mental and emotional health. Okay naman ang mga kalusugan natin sa utak, di ba? Okay, mental and emotional health. Education about their rights. Tactical and technical sports skills. Physical strength. All of these assets are building blocks to more confidence. And then we also have access to resources. We have to bear in mind that 
girls in communities have very limited access to resources, you know, whether education, financial, etc. But participation in a sports program allows them to access, like I mentioned earlier, um, health, education, and other critical areas of concern, as well as provide access to powerful and important information for their healthy development. So sports programs can also provide girls with add with access to mentors. Ako yon. <laughs> Kaya nakared eh. <laughs> Strong female role models and the social support of a team or group of peers. Diba tayo yon, katrops? Diba? Solid? Si? Totoo, diba? Agency. Almost finished. This is the last. This is all about empowerment. This is exciting. So, pakinggan nyo to ha. Although I've presented this to them already, I translated it into Filipino. Okay. This is Melanie. Raise your hand, Melanie. Okay, agency is very much linked to empowerment. It's the ability of a girl to act in her own self-interest, you know, to act with self-determination. It gives them the opportunity to develop empowerment in a safe environment. So in a sports program, girls have an opportunity to become leaders, to witness and be applauded for their achievements. That's me, I'm always applauding their achievements. And to use their voices. Okay, this was during our um, poster making workshop. It in can increase th the girls' belief in their own abilities, which translates into, interestingly, everyday life. It encourages them to take initiatives and attempt things that they never assume possible, like yung hip-hop, di ba? Sumayo sayo tayo, di ba? And then, it also builds, building agencies for the girls does not just help her, it also helps those around her. She begins to exercise leadership, she becomes an increasingly valuable contributor, not just to her household, her family, but her community and greater society. And in conclusion, sports, who would ever think can be a catalyst to liberate and empower women and girls. Sports can empower girls within their communities, provide positive health and welfare outcomes, and ultimately transform gender norms. It can lead to a more egalitarian world. Unleashing the productive intellectual and social power of women. So that's the reason why I need to keep on going back to fair play indefinitely, Roy, because I want to see this happen and to help more generations of girls from the Payatas Football Club. So that's it. Thank you very much. Maraming salamat po. I apologize.